Sponsored by Bangta, Sustainable Business Development in Harmony with the Environment and Society. Siam Commercial Bank. Welcome back to the program. One of the long-standing hindrances to Thailand's economic growth and development remains to be the very deep-rooted problem like corruption. Yes, and the panelists have urged the Thai government to seriously tackle the problem of corruption as it is one of the most important factors in the minds of foreign investors when deciding whether or not to invest in the country. David Lehman, a member of the International Chamber of Commerce's Anti-Corruption Commission, said that corruption in Thailand is like was far significantly worse mm -hmm. than any other ASEAN member states because of a lack of political will to tackle the problem. And while the NACC is working to scrutinize the administrative work under the hardships from flash budgets and lengthy procedures, Lyman said he wished they had more teeth to increase the efficiency in conducting the checks and balances. What is the Thailand's global standing right now on tackling corruption? It's better than some, worse than others. Uh, this was pointed out during the, uh, the presentations here. Uh, but Thailand isn't doing, at least in the past, recent past, hasn't done very much to curb corruption. That's changing. It's changing because the private sector has finally taken the initiative. And in 2010, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Kundusut from the uh, Thai Board of Trade uh, put together this coalition of the private sector to say, we've got to change. No more corruption. You've got to join the coalition and abide by its principles. And that is gaining, that is gaining ground. Now the government's got to listen. Um, you know, it was talked about the, the current policies of the, of, the, uh, of the Prime Minister. I have no problems with the Prime Minister. She's not the problem. But I can't say that about too many people, or too many, I can't say that about enough people, rather, I should say, in Parliament. Um, they're the problems. And you've got um, uh, promotions that are not based on merit. It's based on who you know. Uh, you have, um, uh, what's the word, trophy promotions or trophy um, appointments because somebody happens to know somebody so he gets appointed an advisor and gets a salary. Big deal. You've got um, money that's being spent wildly. I mentioned the 500 million baht for the airport trolleys that were just gone and nobody cares. Um, and that's just one. I don't. So there are, I'm not here to complain about Thailand. Thailand's a wonderful place to live. And fortunately, it's full of great people, both you know, uh, citizens and uh, I'm not saying politicians aren't citizens, but uh, there's some wonderful politicians, some wonderful people in government trying to do the best thing that they can do. Thank God there's the NACC and the PACC. Without them, nothing would happen. And they're doing the best they can, but they need support and they're not getting very much. And they don't have much in the way of teeth. Everything's got to go through the AG's office and, and, and you know, other units before anything can happen. Um, they need authority like you, they would have in Hong Kong or in Singapore. They go direct, start prosecuting people, arresting people. Obviously, power can be abused. Another concern influencing foreign investors' decision to invest in Thailand is the stability in the political situation and, of course, the governmental policies. And the Thai government needs to impose clear, continuous policies in promoting investment as ASEAN integration approaches. Much investment will flow into the region into the coming years. The popular word that everyone's talking right now. Yeah. Well, the minister talked about the, what the government is doing to uh, try and curb corruption starting at the, the public sector level. Publicize it. Let's see what's, what's happening. And then let's see what is done. Talk is easy. Action, more difficult. Okay? So let's see what action is being taken to support the talk. There's an old saying, walk the talk. And is that being done? It's, as he said, it's too early because this government is just putting together uh, its ideas. 
Our Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat has recently announced a fight against corruption and within her administration and society with the need of cooperation from all sectors to join in the anti-graft activities. And the anti-corruption project is designed to ensure transparency in the operations of civil servants put the country to good image internationally as well as raise international investors' confidence. But whether the encouragement will take effect, it would need a great boost from the government sector to take it as a role model for the society. As for foreign investors will be adopting the wait-and-see approach, they'll be deciding whether this time we are serious. In the south of Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, economic goals cannot be achieved without political stability and government that runs effectively on the principle of good governance. Democracy can be maintained at the root of the government with the rule of law fully enforced. Without democracy, there is no international credibility and with high political risk, there will be no economic stability or growth. Our government is determined to reduce corruption and encourage regulatory reform in order to minimize administrative inefficiencies. This will not only ensure that the government can provide a level playing field for business, but also enhance effectiveness of government services for all. To achieve this goal, our government is willing to work with the private sector in building a society of good governance and social responsibility. Let us create a partnership to effectively tackle this issue. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I believe that only if we work hand in hand, the government and the private sector, we can meet the challenges and realize continuous prosperity. Let us work together to prepare ourselves for the AEC and hope that our joint efforts will create a stable future. That's all we have for Tour 2015. Kunata what do we have on our next break? Coming up next, we have Arts of ASEAN, where we'll take you to see the inside of the Queen's Gallery in Bangkok, as well as interviewing movie lovers that try to bring a different ASEAN movie for the Thai viewers.